Yes, my young apprentices, this video will go well. I have foreseen it. Unlimited power! But limited special effects budget. Hey there everybody, it's Jesse, and I just got back from Course of the Force, which is the relay run from Los Angeles to San Diego uh, for Comic-Con, and more importantly, for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. It was a pleasure to be a part of it. There's pictures floating around on the internet of myself, Husky, Dodger, and Roe as characters from the uh, series, as you can tell. I am the Emperor, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this makeup earlier, several hours ago, looked awesome. Now I kind of look like how I looked after the live stream yesterday, just tired and dirty. <laughs> I don't, I don't, it's still kind of cool, but it, does, it doesn't look nearly as good as it did earlier. But the absolute best part about the whole thing is that myself, Husky Dodger Row, we tweeted, Facebooked, like, hey, if you want to donate to Make-A-Wish, go ahead, type in something like Unlimited Power or, or whatever, and um, it will help support this run. And so many of you did. It was awesome. And I just want to thank you. Make-A-Wish is an incredible foundation that does a lot of real good. And uh, I am more proud of my space butterflies than I ever was. And uh, I just want to say thank you. I'd also like to say thank you to the Course of the Force people. Because for doing the run, we got the most amazing thing ever. It is this right here. I have to like reach over and grab it. It's a limited edition Star Wars lightsaber that has Course of the Force on it, and it's numbered, right? So it's incredibly, like, this is my new baby. I'm just letting you know. This is, this is my new baby. What makes it even better, besides the fact that I totally didn't expect this, so as a Star Wars nerd, this is awesome. But, uh, it looks totally cool on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you to Course of the Force, uh, the three or four fans who came out to see us, TGS, the Nerdist, everyone involved with this thing. I had a total blast. And finally, an extreme thank you to the Maker Studio costume wardrobe makeup department that came out and put this together. It looked awesome. You guys rock. Anyway, without further ado, the hat is ready to go. I got my glasses on so I can see. And uh, let's pull out our first... Question. Question number one. What the hell's an aluminum falcon? Um, uh, this comes from Kanatama. Uh, Kanatama asks, Hello, Jesse. I was curious if you have ever played the game Xenogears for the original PlayStation. If you have, what did you think of it? I ask because I... S this is so small. This is really hard to read. I ask because you say Final Fantasy VI is the best game ever. And in my opinion, this game came close, if not better. What do you think? Well, first off, yes, I have played it. And I think it's a terrific game. But I seem to recall having the impression when I played it through the first time that after a certain point, it became less of a game and more of a book. Like, there were just chapters of text. Like, backstory and mythos. And while it was all really in-depth and pretty awesome, I remember being like... All I'm doing is reading. Like, I'm playing this game, but all I'm really doing is reading. Like, ch like just walls of text. Which seemed weird at the time, but I guess, considering now they just replaced that with voice acting and music and cutscenes. In a lot of games, it's kind of the same thing. But at the time, it was a lot to read through. But the story was so in-depth. Like, Xenogears is awesome. Uh, I know a lot of people like Xenosaga. But uh, Xenogears was terrific. I would recommend it. It's one Xenogears is kind of up there. Um, it's not my top five, but definitely top 20. Question the second. Would you be willing to make a YouTube video with zero editing just to prove how important it is? By Anonymous on Tumblr. Um, well, I assume this is Anonymous like the hackers because that would be awesome. But uh, would I ever do that? No. Because the one time I decided to leave an unedited bit out, I put it in a Skyrim video. Uh, I, I I took down the video because I got a lot of flack for it. And I was like, never doing this again. But um, at the time, it was a scene where I walked into a cave, saw a dude, killed him, killed a bunch of other people, and then realized I needed everyone in that cave for a quest. And so I left that in 
and then redid it like nothing had happened. And people are like, Jesse edits videos, table flip. And I was like, I do uh, uh. honestly, the reason why people edit is so there's a seamless flow. And so people don't notice all the hard work that goes into it. I'll be honest. I would rather people be like, wow, what Jesse does is super freaking easy. Then, then complain that I leave in all the excess, like cutting room floor stuff. There's a reason why everything's edited in the professional world because people would rather be under the illusion that what they're seeing is this like perfect made creation. Um, a lot of times we forget, like take a movie, for example, in one scene in a movie, they have to redo the same dialogue like 16 times, but from different camera angles to get like behind the back, in front of the uh, character, uh, from the side with both characters, all sorts of stuff. I mean, it's a lot of work goes into it and they edit it together to make it seem flawless. And then you don't even notice, which I think is the point. So really, I'm kind of happy people don't notice and think that I can pound out a video in like 20 minutes. I think that's kind of awesome. And finally, question the third. Paradoxical Delusions wants to know, so it hit me, Jesse, why haven't you done a collaboration video with Dodger yet? That's an excellent question. In fact, it's so excellent that at 6 in the morning today, on the Redondo Beach Pier, getting makeup put on, uh, I had the exact same conversation with her. And I will just say something is coming. And it's going to be hilarious. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go take the longest shower ever. Because I smell like butt, and my face looks like one. So, <laughs> look at this line. Unlimited forehead butt crack. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go do that. And I just want to thank you guys for all your support and all the warm wishes after the last Q&A. When I was like, this is kind of a hard job. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep doing this. More videos to come this week. And, uh, as always... To be continued. See you next Friday.